All right. So tonight we have the Great Lowell United FC versus the New York Athletic Club here on Colley Memorial Stadium. Right now, the New York Athletic Club are running fourth on this division from the National Premiership Soccer League, the MPSL. And uh, it's bringing, the LTC is bringing you, for you to enjoy. We have a great night tonight. It's supposed to rain, but luckily we have a great weather for soccer. Uh, the team on your left is the New York Athletic Club wearing red. And your Great Lowell United Dragons have split jerseys, green and white. Right now, uh, we have Vinny Passos with number 10 and Samba as forwards. And the game started. Ball goes down. And the last game we had here was the New York Cosmos versus the Great Lowell United, where the Cosmos won 6 0. Hopefully, we'll see a better ball movement for the Great Lowell United tonight. The ball goes through the midfield. We have good control by Samba. The runs through two players. Lost. It loses the ball here in the midfield, but Doug Searle is able to get it back. We have a 4-4-2 a formation for the Greater Lowell United. Clear. All the lines are clear on the field. We'll see if this line, this formation works for them this time versus the New York Athletic Club. Previous game, first game of the season between the Greater Lowell United uh, at New York. New York won 3-0, first game of the year. We have a we have an offside. It didn't look like so. Probably guys, you at home were able to follow the lines there. If it was an actual offside, but we are already one minute into the game, and uh, we'll see if the New York Athletic Club puts uh, puts a ball through the midfield or they hold it defensively, like we saw last time with the New York Cosmos. Lacking pressure by the Gray Lowell United up top. We see that the New York Athletic Club is trying long balls. It's the second time they do this so far. We'll see if that follows through. We have the list here, number three, but it's to the midfield. And we have a foul for the New York Athletic Club. That is going to be taken by number three, Adria Beso Marco. Apparently, but in decent choice to shot, opens the ball, opening the field, goes nowhere, Ulf takes it back to some, but Vini Passos gets a run, is he going to get it? It's controlled by number 12, not fully, that was a little jersey grabbing by Vini Passos, but we'll see if I help, it works there. We have Patrick Hamilton versus number 17 from the New York Athletic Club, ball goes out, East. Great Lowell United ball, great body work by Patrick Hamilton there. And we have uh, Costas taking the foul. Didn't go out. A little grabbing there. Oliveira gets the ball up. Zamba runs, makes a run, keep safely, gets the ball out of the way in the midfield. We can't really say if there's one team or another actually having more control right now. Both are at this time moving the ball through the midfield. We have Marco here with the ball and Smarley, New York Athletic Cup, puts the ball down tries to reorganize and there is no pressure from the Great Lowell United at this time so they can easily get to the midfield nice switch there not fully controlled ball is out for the New York Athletic Club throw in goes to the forwards the New York Athletic Club seems to be Having a 3-2 formation going at this time. Not so talking by keeper Sean here tonight. Uh, it's his first time with the, New York, with the MPSL T 
team for the Great Lowell United. There the ball got through dangerously, but luckily was taken out. Ball for the midfield. Looks to pour in the back. Long ball for Vinny Passos. No pressure from the Great Lowell United. Keeper's ball. And we have a captain on going of long balls. We'll see if the ball stays on the ground on this one for a good opportunity for the Great Lowell United. No support for Doc Searle. It, the ball is lost. And we have a counterattack by the New York Athletic Club that makes the run open out. A very bad shot by the New York Athletic Club. The ball out. The ball is not out, but there it comes out. Good chance for a New York Athletic Club. Not very well executed in the end. Two's up, ready three, three's up, and ready four, four's up. Ball's in the midfield, Safa gets it. Ah, oh, a header, it goes nowhere. We control the ball by number seven, but bad passing. Vinny Passos gets it to Cyril there in the middle. More ball movement than on previous games. Oh. Right now the <laughs> right now the board is going crazy. Apparently it's not working, so I won't be able to tell you exactly what time, how much time in we are. If you're following the if we start at 8:05, we are six minutes into the game. One clear opportunity for a New York Athletic Club so far that is dangerously moving the ball around close to the box, opening the ball, goes long into the box, and it goes wide. And we'd like to remind you that the referee is keeping official time on the field. Unfortunately, our scoreboard is not functioning for the moment. But we're working on it. The referee is keeping official time on the field. Our wide ball opening the field for a new cross athletic club. Nice passing there. No coverage and the ball goes wide. Is it going in? No one to take that shot. Great level United strikes to reorganize by putting the ball down. Unlikely. It's a throw in for New York Athletic Club. We have seven minutes into the game. Score is 0-0 zero, zero here at Collier Stadium. Oh, I thought it was a throw in for the New York Athletic Club. Good run there. We'll see if Ray Lowell United can make good use of this throw in. Ball to the midfield, Doc Searle puts it open, switch the ball. We have ball moving, ball movement, Doc Searle gets the man out. Ah, miscommunication there from the Ray Lowell United. Patrick Hamilton and Avery. Three men on one person. Ref plays it safe, calls the foul. Although there was no contact there. Slow moving movement of the ball. None of the teams are playing deep, although the New York Athletic Club had the deeper attempts. Switching. No goal control. Doc Sell gets the ball over him. Vinny Passos fights for it, but the New York Athletic Club keeps the ball foul. 
you could hear the touch there on the New York Athletic Club's players' foot. And it's an opportunity for the New York Athletic Club to push Gray Lowell United into its box. Keeps ball. Dangerous out of the way. <coughs> Opening foul in front of the box. Last man. The ref's calling a yellow card on Ulf. Because the New York Athletic Club player was getting into the box. If you see the action, like players talking to each other, the ref throwing a flag or something, just go tight, zoom in. Great chance for a new athletic club. The ref needs to get that wall further up. That's not nine yards, nine steps. And there we go. She is getting the wall in place. And we have a New York Athletic Club player. Wide, but it looks like he's gonna try to go all the way in. Hits the wall. Ball's opening. Feet go up. And uh, Safa doesn't get the ball to anybody there. We'll see if the movement here by the Newcastle Athletic Club gets the ball into the box. Miscommunication by the Newcastle Athletic Club, but still danger is next to the. Gray Lowell United box, the ball is moving around, another ball into a box, nice header by Patrick Hamilton. The ball is not on the ground, and that's why we have no control there. Yellow card, issued to City United football team. Number 17 is going to try to take the shot, no, number 7 gets the ball around, and tries to open the field, no, gets the shot, goes up the goal. Nice movement by the New York Athletic Club. There, the Greater Lowell United is not being able to control the ball and put put it on the ground or move it. Nice shot by the keep. That's controlled by the header by the New York Athletic Club. The ball is still on air. Nobody's putting it down. Handball, but somebody. Tries to call it, but the ref is not calling it. We have Costas there. The ball is in the midfield. Samba trying to control it. Doc Searle puts it on the side. Patrick Hamilton looks for support, but he's unable to pass. Number three for the New York Athletic Club. Adria Beso, Marco. He's everywhere. He's everywhere. But now he's changing positions because he wa he was playing down in the midfield. Now he's a forward. Great opportunity by a great, by a New York Athletic Club. The ball is out. Smartly played, keeping it safe here at Collier Stadium. Throw in by the New York Athletic Club. We'll see if number 17 controls. No control of the ball. Great opportunity for a counterattack for a great level United. We'll see what happens here, but bad passing. Ball is lost. Opening of the ball. Number seven comes in. Keeper's ball. Great save. To put the situation under control by Sean. There you go. Stay with it. Just stay with the goal. Four's up. Ball the ball Throwing for the New York Athletic Club. We see great and good ball movement there. A bit more pressure on defense by Vini Passos, but they are still able to move the ball. And uh, keep the Grey Lowell United Football Club on their field, on their side of the turf. 
close to their keep, trying to open in the ball. We'll see if well, ball plays to a throw in. Marco Besso gets the ball in, controls it. Back to number seven. Those two play together a lot. Number 18, ball goes in. That was a bit lack of concentration there. Ball still control. We'll see if uh, it's a great opportunity to make the run, but the great little United player decides to go back. And it's a great little United ball. Throw in for them. We'll see if ball on the side, someone makes a run, wins body wise, but ball back to the keeper that puts it back in the midfield. Deflected by the Grillo United that's controlling the ball. Doc still has a man on him, turns around, looks for support, opens it. Good triangle there. Handball. Handball for the New York Athletic Club. But the shout, Vini Passes gets called by the ref. Probably because he was calling it and was like, I'm the ref, I'm the one that's making the calls here at Collier Stadium. The chance for a great level unit, we'll see if they take the shot or they play. It looks like it's gonna take the shot, and ball goes in, hits the wall, goes around. Controlled by the New York Athletic Club, puts the ball out, but not a good pass. Ulf is trying to open the field, tries to switch it. Hits a New York Athletic Club player that opens the field to number seven. That's looking for support. There's no one there looking to open the field. Number 19, Goals. keeper's ball. Or corner kick? Corner kick. For the New York Athletic Club. All right, Randy. Four's up. Ready, one. One's up. Yeah, I don't think Randy's up there. Four, Steve. What's that? All right. Ready, three, three's up. Ready, four. Four's up. Low corner. If there's ball control there, Vinny Pesos goes, puts pressure on it, and it's New York Athletic Club's ball, ball. in the midfield. The throw in is taken, the ball goes into the midfield. The switch to the left hand side. Ball is opening switch, but it's a long ball. It's going to stay in the New York Athletic Club. Doubts? That's me. One of the minutes into the game. The generous repurchase our gets for us. And it's a great chance there by the great low United to the run. Ball goes down. Two field. Cafe. Around the world. Header trying to get Vini Paso. Vini Paso goes in. But he's get the foul call because he ran over the New York Athletic Club player. Ball opening by the New York Athletic Club is going to look for support there in the midfield. It's not pressured. They have they have a free player here in defense. We'll see if they try to go through it. The ref calls a foul. It's not even a touch. We'll see. If these calls don't get the Grillo United distracted, 17 goes in, tries to make the shot, weak shot that's safely grabbed by the keeper. Have keep going to get the shot. That's a cannon of a foot. It goes all the way to the other side, but it's not controlled by Grillo United, so goes all the way back to the midfield for the New York Athletic Club that I'm going to start calling NYIC because New York Athletic Club is way too long. We're just going to say New York or Athletic Club or anything like that. 
Huh? At the same time we were having this game here, there, oh, there's a lot of mail of hands by number seven from the New York Athletic Cup. That's way too much grabbing by Rob Cabrera. There's a man on the ball, still in play. Good switch in there. Ball goes from the midfield to no one. So the NYC gets the ball. Nicely done there, but there's no counterattack. Deep ball, deep throwing for the for New York. That cancel handles to the keeper. There's still no midfield for Great Lowell United. We'll see if they can get that in place. Because the uh, New York is not being able to make deep plays. The defense for Great Lowell United is set. Although they got broken in twice. Throw in by Carl Sjostrom. Uh, it's called by the ref. The ref is had to get the, get ref has the flag up. Well, see the ref with the flag? And so we have a foul there. Too much talking on the field. There's a foul. Another foul. Number seven. There is built going. Number seven is getting on the way. He needs to get a yellow card. He needs to be, get thrown. He needs to see what to do. He needs a yellow card. That's a yellow card. Unnecessary pushing by number seven by Rob Cabrera. Gets a yellow card. For Rob Cabrera. That's still talking. It seems that Rob wants to go back home. Keeps talking. Rob Cabrera keeps talking. I'm guessing if, if he plays smart late, he could be thrown out soon. Long pass by Patrick Hamilton, but he passes was unable to get through it. Oof. The keep was unable to throw it in well, but the situation is under control again. We have the defense set and getting the passes around. They're taking a run, it's not covered. Long ball for NYC.